What's up guys? It's me Leanne. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you a way on how to model this type of table here in Revit. So before we get started, if you are new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that you are always updated every time I upload a new video because I always make video like this every week. So since uh, gagawa tayo ng, ng family dito sa Revit, so I'm going to be going here on families then go here on create new. And then, marami tayong pagpipilian but I'm going here on English because I'm using the metric system. So, and then find here, um, metric furniture. Then hit open. And so, before I start, ang gagamitin kong, uh, for this model, ang gagamitin kong uh, unit is millimeters but it's still up to you kung saan kayo mas comfortable so if you want to change your units just simply press un and then you can cho choose your uh, desired project units here so i'm gonna be using millimeters okay and then click okay so uh, gagawa tayo ng ating reference plane so command rp for shortcut and then make it like 250 and then select this one and then mirror it on the other side. So and then while it was still selected, I click mong ay I press mo yung yung uh, control button and then command R O or rotate and then go here on copy place and then go here on middle and then rotate it by 90 degree. And so once we have this, we can go here on left elevation or right elevation, it doesn't matter. So, I'm, I'm going to command RP again. Yan. So, lalagyan ko siya ng height na, um, sabihin natin, 600. Okay. So, since it is 600, I'm going to create again um, another reference plane. So, I make this 300. So, since meron tayong uh, dalawang ring, yung magkaganon. So, magkagawa ulit ako ng another reference plane from here to there. And again, from here to there. And then, we select this one. So, uh, lagyan na lang natin siyang pangalan na. Sabihin ko na lang, top. And then, this plane, like, yeah, S1 or slide 1. Parang ganun. So, again, this one, slide 2, S2. So, kapag meron na tayong ganito, go here on reference plane, magagawa na tayo ng ating uh, extrusion. So, go here on create, extrusion, and then set the plane into um, top. Oops, okay. And then, gamitin natin itong circle type. Okay. Then, so, since mamaya lalagyan natin siya ng class sa gitna, mag-create ulit tayo ng isa pang, um, isa pang circle. So, 220. Gawin natin siya something like 230. Okay. And then, lagyan natin ng depth into negative 15. Okay. Click check. And then, punta tayo dito sa ating left elevation. So, meron na tayong ganito. So, go here on 3D view. Oops. X close this one. Go here on 3D view. Select all. Copy. Paste selected levels. Go here on reference level. So, pag pumunta tayo dito sa ating left elevation, napunta siya underneath the reference. So, baguhin na lang natin siya. Tanggalin natin itong ating uh, negative. So, ganun na siya. Then, when we go here on 3D view, meron na tayong dalawang ring. So, ang kailangan natin is yung isa dito at yung isa pa dito. So, paano natin siya gagawin? So, go here again on left elevation, create um, extrusion, and then set the plane into S1. Okay. Then go here on front elevation. 
So, again, gamitin natin itong isang circular type. And then, point into the middle. So, kung pansin nyo kanina, it is 250. Okay. 250. So, I hope it will work. Again. Kung kanina, this is uh, 200, 200, like 230, pagkakalala ko. Okay, check. Go here on left elevation. Oops, yeah, I think it should be. Okay. So, masyado siyang maikli. And, malaki yung tendency na hindi sila mag-meet dito sa taas. So, ang gagawin natin dyan is, delete natin again to. And then, we adjust the diameter. So, we go here again on a create, extrusion, set, and then go here again on S1. Oops. Go here again on F. S1. And then, go here on front elevation, open view. And then, again, choose the circular type. Sabihin natin, uh, adjust natin like 270. Okay. I think it will work now. 270. So, it is 270 minus 20. I think 250. <laughs> 250. Okay. So, click check, and then go here on left elevation. Okay. So, it goes sa ilalim. Tanggalin natin itong negative. Okay. Okay. You think mag-work to? So, command MM mirror. Yeah. So, we got this one. So, i-align na lang natin siya dito. Okay, nag-meet naman silang dalawa. And then also there. So, pag nagpunta tayo sa ating 3D, we have this. So, let's change the view into shaded. Okay. Meron na tayong ganito. So, ang gusto ko, pag dugtong -dug 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 siya, it's not a separate, but, uh, Ano kasi tawag dito? Uh, Dugtong-dugtong silang lahat. So, we go here on join. Then, select this one ring, another ring. Select this ring again, and then this ring. And also, select this ring, and then another ring. So, hit escape key, and then select one ring. Pwede natin baguhin yung ating material. Go here on three dots. Go here on default. Right click, duplicate, and sabi natin siyang gold. Okay. Then go here on appearance, and then click this replaces this asset. So magpapap up yung ating asset browser. So simply go here and search like gold. Okay. Double click, and then X, and then yes. Go here on Use Render Appearance. Apply. Okay. Okay. Uh, mukhang hindi siya nag-adapt. So, kung hindi niya na-adapt yun, just repeat again the process. So, go here again to Material. Then, choose this code. Okay. So, ayun. And now, gusto ko na maglagay ng um, class panel dito sa ating taas, sa ating uh, top. So, paano natin siya gawin? So, punta tayo dito sa create um, extrusion and then punta tayo sa set set a plane. So, pick a plane, okay and then choose this plane and then change natin yung view natin into top view and then choose this pick lines. Okay. And then, let's make it a bit thinner. So, negative something. I think 5, negative 5. Okay. So, check. And then, palitan natin yung material natin into something. This one, glass. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, now we have our table. 
And ayun lang po, if you found this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It will help me out a lot para makapag-produce pa po ng mga ganitong helpful videos. And if you have any suggestions, comments, or questions, you can leave that on the comment section down below. And I will try, try to answer those questions. Again, thank you and God bless.